four mystical wonders of this box. The very first part I'm going to be pulling out to show you guys is this tiny little box right here. And in this tiny little box, we have brand new hardware. And then as we move into the next section of this is the brackets are gonna go on the back side of the calipers. And these things are very, very nice. And as you can see, there are some little imperfections in here. But then again, you're not gonna see it, so I'm not really too stressed out about it. But overall, this is a very nice piece. We have one for the left side, and we also have one for the right side. I'm hoping that they hold up, but they feel sturdy, they feel a little heavy. I'm excited to throw these things on, and hopefully they fit as they should. Oh, my stupid ass. Is there only one in here? There's two, okay. The next order of business that we gotta take care of that I have to show you guys. Boom. Yes, these things are ginormous. Like look at how big my head originally is and look how big these are. So with that being said, we have brand new pads. This is something we're definitely gonna need when we go ahead and put on the new rotors. Now downside though about this, Yes, I could have went to AutoZone and got a rental, but I don't want to do that. So worst case scenario, I just don't throw these on because the reason why I don't have a tool to remove the caliper off the back to push the piston in because it's not like the front. So with that being said, enough of the talk. Let's jump right into this inside. So we just went ahead and removed off four bolts off the back side of the caliper. There was one here, one on the other side, one right below it, and then one on the other side as well. Make sure that when you do do this, that you put down your emergency brake, as scary as this sounds, in order for you to get that caliper off, because what happens is if you have it up, it's gonna stay locked to the disc itself. So the next thing we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna be removing the disc, which is literally wobbly at the moment. It'll come off in two seconds. But we also have those brackets we have to throw on the backside of the caliper to make sure that they fit the brand new rotors we're gonna putting on the car. So what I might just do first, because I'm a little bit eager to go ahead and throw this thing on, so I'm gonna throw the disc on first, and we're gonna be worrying about the bracket in a little bit. So as you guys can see, this looks like shit at the moment because I did a half-ass job when painting these calipers because you're not supposed to paint these. You're supposed to take everything off, paint them as a normal person would do it. But no, I got lazy and I actually just wanted to rush to get this done so I can match the front calipers in the last video. And I just did a half-ass job just to be completely honest with you. So I'm just taking everything apart now and I was not expecting to be doing this as soon as I was of changing these brakes. But right now I am just cleaning all these off as best as I possibly can by putting new grease on here. These pads, they're running really low at the moment. And I'm just noticing that now, and I've never changed these for the seven years I've had this car. They're starting to get a little beat up a little bit, a little beat up. A few moments later. So a little bit of change in plans when it came to putting on the bracket on this car. Cause what I did end up noticing is that you cannot have the rotor on the car when putting on this bracket. And the reason why you can't do that is because the way that the bracket sits, sits like this. There's a little staircase step up thing that goes right here and just slides over the top and the holes line up with these two holes right here. Now, with that being said, one thing I didn't notice because originally how I had the car set up, so originally how I had the car set up to begin with is I thought, okay, well, the bolts would go on the back side and you tighten it from the back. That is not the way you're supposed to do it. You're actually supposed to put them through the front side right here. And when you put them through the front side, there's these little grooves and threads inside this bracket 
that will screw it on from the back side. So the bolts are actually gonna be facing towards you and not the back side of the wheel. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then the bolts that are gonna go through the top side, which are through this long little tube right here over the top, will go into the caliper itself. So it's just been a complete shit show and I can't believe I'm saying that over just some brake pads, but when you don't have the tool, it really doesn't help. But another time we're gonna have, we're gonna have to go ahead and just throw on the brand new pads on the car, but we just threw the old ones on for the meantime. I was able to get the piston to twist, but not enough to the point where I was able to put the new pads on. Overall, the rotors look really, really good. I'm happy how they look. And let me actually get you the old one. You can see the difference between the two. So one is definitely a lot bigger than the other. Actually to make it a lot easier, here's the original one and here's the new one. So when you look at the size difference, there is definitely a big difference between the new one and the old one. And the new one looks very, very nice, especially on the cart now. So we're gonna go ahead and put the wheel on. Everything should be good to go. I am not gonna be doing the stainless steel brake lines today. And so next time around when I do the pads, I'm more than likely to do the stainless steel brake lines along with it. So we're gonna go for our first stop. Which way do I wanna go? Do I wanna go left or right? I'm gonna go right, fuck it. Because if this feels like it really made a difference, then you'll probably see my face reaction pretty quickly to say the least. So we are gonna stop right now. Ooh. Okay. That actually felt pretty nice, I ain't gonna lie. I mean, you notice a slight difference, but not too crazy over the top, but it's definitely noticeable. Like I'm gonna the ABS. I feel like it stops a little bit quicker now. It feels like it's a little bit more responsive to say the least. I feel a little bit of a difference and I feel like just aesthetics of it as well it actually looks really nice. We're gonna go ahead and stop again now. This bitch stops on a dime. I'm not even gonna lie. I mean I and we're not even done yet. Like we still have the stainless steel lines and the pads. Shit. These rotors are nice. I, all I did was a bigger rotor. That's all I did so far. Didn't change anything else. And they feel very, very nice. And so far, I don't hear any noises. Nothing's wrong. I mean, everything seems pretty tight so far and hopefully it stays that way. But again, still hearing that rotor rub just a little bit. We're gonna let it coast for a minute and then we'll slam on the brakes over at this light. Actually, there is no light. Three, two, one. Overall, the rotors look great. I feel like they match the front very nicely and I'm excited to continue on and put on the stainless steel lines and also some brand new pads. I think they look absolutely gorgeous and I think they look so well with not only the front ones that we just threw on not too long ago because they fill the wheel well in very nice and they look very, very good. But unfortunately with this videos all frank and signed up, it's not didn't really turn out the way I would have liked it to because I would have loved to put on the new pads on. I would have loved to put the new stainless steel brake lines on and that would have probably definitely made the car feel a lot better when it did stop. Even though it stopped great, I feel like it could have definitely been a lot better. But you know what? Unfortunately, we're not able to make that in today's video. I definitely feel like we will make that a better segment 
segment in another video when we do the pads and the stainless steel brake lines, which I feel like those two together will make for a very great video later. But overall though, again, these bigger rotors definitely look so much more better than the V6 rotors that we originally had over on the car. And I have no complaints about these at all. I feel like anybody who's looking to do this GT500 conversion over on your GT or even your V6 Mustang, I feel like it's definitely worth it. I feel like it makes not only the aesthetics of this look amazing, but also at the same time too, it stops on a dime. And I wish we could have done a big caliper setup in the rear and made it match the front, but you know what? As you guys all know, the calipers for the rear end of these S197 Mustangs are either just an arm and a leg or they're just impossible to find. So this is the best bet we could do. But overall, if any of you guys are looking to do this, this was a very affordable option to do. And I think these rotors were around like 196 bucks. They're Callahan rotors. And then also on top of the well, the brackets were around 100 bucks as well. Then if you want to get new pads, you're looking around 75 bucks or somewhere in that price range. It's been a while since I bought pads, so I can't really give you a price tag on how much pads are. And if you guys have any questions, you know exactly where to leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you guys all so much for watching today's video, and I will see you guys in the next one.